I'm Chris Roberts with MTPS 3D TV here at CES 2012 with Greg Lee, a product training manager for Panasonic. Yes, how are you doing today? Really good. What can you tell us about what Panasonic has this year for 3D displays and technology in general? We have quite a bit in 3D displays. Uh, we have our plasma displays, we have our now IPS LED uh, 3D displays, and we also have a IPS LED uh, polarized 3D display. So we have active plasma, active LED, and polarized 3D in terms of the 3D displays. Okay. Um, as far as projector goes, I've seen some you know recent announcements with 1080p full HD 3D projectors. Yes, Panasonic introduced a projector uh, this past year as well, the AE7000, uh, in one of our other display groups. But yeah, so we go from everything from you know small to large. Uh, we have even our 85, 103, and 152 inch plasmas that are also 3D capable in our professional series line of plasmas as well. So if you got a position in your living room or your business or corporation and you, get, you need a display, we certainly have a size and a technology that will fit just about any bill and budget as well. Okay. Um, and as far as production and stuff, there's some interesting things about the cameras that you guys have used with the Space Shuttle and the Olympics and that sort of thing? Yeah, you know, Panasonic is really keen in on in 2012, we are going to be the company that's providing all of the equipment to be able to broadcast this Olympics for the first time in 3D. So uh, we've taken on that responsibility. Uh, Panasonic was also the first company to you know, produce and do the Olympics in HD. So this is the next benchmark for us, is to take it to that third dimension or that last level. So yes, we'll be doing that this year. And of course, in our consumer line, we have you know, uh, our uh, G-series cameras, which have a uh, accessory lens, which allows you to shoot in 3D save those images as MPOs, and then of course play them back on all these displays. We also have camcorders that will shoot in 3D as well. So whether it's sourcing, you know, whether it's broadcast or you know, consumer, and the displays, we basically fit the bill for everything. Um, a lot of our members are really enthusiastic specifically about 3D gaming, and I have a Panasonic um, projector in my theater that I bought a few years ago that was the AX200U, I think, that was specifically tailored towards gamers with low latency and stuff like that. Yes. Um, are there products like that that are being pushed towards gaming specifically these days? Well, if you're a gamer, I know there's a lot of uh, enthusiasm on the, you know, the LED side of things, but in reality, gamers depend on speed. And one of the things that Panasonic does in terms of the processing of the 3D is our processors are designed to pass it through the TV so fast that the gamer on the opposite side of the display is not experiencing any lag time. The other thing is that you want the experience to always be the best that it can possibly be. So again, we focus the technology to make sure that when we're generating images in 3D, that we have the absolute least amount of crosstalk that we possibly could have. And this year, we've even modified the drive systems in our plasmas. So we, you know, have you know, if you have a camera and you shoot something that's at a very slow shutter, motion will blur. If you shoot it with a higher shutter speed, everything stops, you know, in time and becomes very sharp and detailed in the photo. This new drive system is like that high shutter speed on a camera. It actually impulses the image to the screen at one twenty-fifth hundred of a second. So with that fast impulse, it's able to get everything up there and then it disappears before it interferes with the next image. Thus. The, you know, the possibility of crosstalk is minimized to the lowest level that we've ever produced in any of our displays, so. That's cool, so it sounds like it gets shorter porch times and more light gets through and less ghosting and all oh, that sounds really good. Exactly, you basically get total benefit from everything. It, you know, everything looks as good in 3D as it does in 2D, and uh, the faster speed of the processing means that the gamer sitting there playing is not experiencing any lag that would translate to getting shot when they need that split-second advantage, right? Another thing that's really important to gamers besides speed is resolution. Um, and in this day and age on the consoles for the games that have been coming out on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, they're all at 720p. Um, but there are solutions on the PC side where if you have a display that uses uh, dual link DVI or DisplayPort, you can run those games in higher resolutions and stuff. Is there any of the Panasonic displays that have inputs other than HDMI for um, 3D inputs? Well, all of our you know displays will accept a 1080p full HD you know 3D input, and we are able to retain the full you know 1920 by 1080p resolution. And of course, we are showing here at the show uh, 4K 2K, which is the next generation of resolution. Uh, whereas some of our competitors are showing larger screen sizes, and we've already released the 152 inch plasma as a uh, 4K 2K device, although it won't fit most people's houses. Uh, we're 
demonstrating a 20-inch 4K 2D display. So it shows that we can scale not only to large sizes, but bring that super high resolution down to very small sizes. And thus, you know, for the gamers who have maybe, you know, try to do it on a desktop or they want to do it in a living room, again, we see the opportunity to scale to smaller and larger sizes at higher resolutions. That's pretty cool. Um, on the PC side, there's some products. NVIDIA has their 3D Vision Kit and 3D TV. Um, uh, AMD has their HD 3D solutions. How much do you know about, is there you know, work with those manufacturers to get your display certified and approved and you know, working with their solutions? Uh, we've been working with NVIDIA for some time. Uh, we did a tour a couple years ago with our first 3D products, and NVIDIA brought a custom PC that was driving the display in HDMI. Uh, and yes, we were able to sync up and everything worked properly. Uh, so yeah, we're set to go, we're certified, life is good, just get a big screen, big computer, nice console, get the glasses, and really start enjoying the gaming. Cool, well thank you very much. We appreciate you stopping by.